Getting your first freelance project doesn't have to be a grind. Here's how to get your first freelance project today with no experience necessary. We're jumping right in today. Here's the strategy I used to get work when I first got started that still works perfectly today. Step number one is to find the people that you wanna work for. Notice I didn't say company, I said people. We're not going after companies today because they're very difficult to find the actual decision maker. You need to aim for the specific person that you want to work with. What we need is direct access, and this is a lot easier in today's day and age with social media. Head over to any social media platform you like where those people are. That could be LinkedIn, YouTube, TikTok, anywhere that has direct messaging. That's all you need. Like I said, what we're looking for is direct contact with people not big companies. Big companies are great and you will get there eventually in your freelance journey. The problem with big companies is that you usually have to go through many layers of people in order to find the decision maker or the person that's going to hire you. This can be very difficult and very time consuming. You can work on that and that'll be a completely different video. But this one is all about just getting it done today. Make a list of the three people that you want to work with. Step number two is to figure out what they need. You might be skeptical because figuring out what people need is hard. It's really a professional level thing. But the great thing is, is you're actually already a pro. This pro level stuff that you're doing right now is actually what you need. What you may not realize is you're already a pro because you're already developing customer personas using this technique. And that's really high level stuff. So how can you figure out what the people on your list actually need? It's much more simple than you think. You simply ask yourself, what is this person doing the most? Getting the point? What people do most is most important to them. The people on your list are probably already maxed out in bandwidth for these things that they're doing the most. The key here is to make your prospect's life more convenient. This opens them up for more opportunities. And if you can open them up to more opportunities, you'll open up yourself to more opportunities. Which brings us to the next step, the third and final step of this process is production. Step number three is just to figure out what you actually wanna do for these people. As a freelancer, you have just tons of options. You can do graphic design, you can do copywriting, marketing, lead generation, sales. It doesn't matter. All you're doing here is looking for something you like to do, coupled with what your clients actually need. The options are absolutely endless, so it's just really time to get down to determine what they need versus what you wanna do. An easy way to figure this out is to go back to the previous step where it's what the person is doing the most. Are they posting written content on LinkedIn? Then it's really simple, just write posts for them. Write one or two LinkedIn posts for them, could even be Instagram posts, it doesn't really matter as long as you're just writing for them, giving them new topics to write about anything that'll just make their life a little bit easier. The great part about this is you'll start receiving feedback as well. Are they adding videos to their YouTube channel and you like to do design? That's perfect. Do some thumbnails for them. By repeating creative processes over and over, you'll get faster and faster and better and better at this. It's all about practice making perfect. Are they looking for new clients? And hint, everyone is looking for new clients. Find a few leads for them that are in their industry and send them over and see what they think about them. That's really the three steps, and it works on every scale of client. You wanna find out who they are, what they do the most often, and what you can do for them. By making your potential clients' lives more convenient and easier, they're just going to give you more and more opportunities all the time. The great part about this is the more you do it, the more you'll understand who your clients are. It'll help you write content for your website, your social media, your own profiles. It'll also help you build your portfolio as well when you're first starting out, because when you're first starting out, you just don't have enough to show people. And if you don't have enough to show people, it's better just to get started and get doing it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to turn on notifications for my next videos. I'm Scott Lusco, I'm your freelance coach. I hope you found this useful today. If you found this helpful, please make sure to add a comment below and check out my next videos for more help on your freelance journey.